Yeah, so we have had another fabulous day um, today. Weather is beautiful, and we uh, have a successful event going on, and we're, we're thrilled again. It's a good, good running day, a little, a little on the cool side. Last year when we did this, it was, I don't know, it was close to 90 degrees. Uh, today it's you know a perfect day, 50s, sunshine, great New England day. Uh, runners were good. I haven't checked the times yet, but uh, I'm, I'm uh, hopeful that everybody's better their time. Yeah, we're blessed that we have volunteers and we have a lot of uh, friendship and love and care around us to uh, help share the burden. Uh, we start a few months from uh, prior to this to get it going. and There's a lot of work, a lot of details, but it's starting to come uh, easier with us year to year. It's our third year now. and. Uh, it's starting to be more of a machine than uh, it has in the past, but we're, we're thrilled about it. What we do is we are focused on pediatric, cardiac uh, patients and families. This is uh, was is what Evan had, um, congenital heart defect, uh, which means at birth. And what we try to do is, and we are doing, not try to do, but you know, take every every nickel we have uh, from people, donate it to us, and through fees and bring it down close to the patient. Um, we're uh, very cautious not to get involved in um, big big machines, big big corporations and keep it local. Uh, and we want actually want family contact and, and patient contact right down to see their eyes and, and uh, hear their voice uh, directly. Um, and we do a variety of different things from uh, dinners at the Yawkey Inn at Boston Children's Hospital to uh, donations that we make uh, to the hospital itself, but we've got some longer term things going on around patient housing. Uh, we're about ready to um, do a arrangement um, whereby we actually will pay for the rental of a family apartment close to Children's Hospital and, and their uh, families and that come in from uh, outside and, and need a place to stay uh, for longer periods of time can actually Get, get their own place, have their own kitchen and bathrooms and bedroom and stuff. And that's about ready to happen. We're about ready to sign the deal on that in the next couple months. Yeah, so I guess I'm kind of the numbers guy. I'm the treasurer is my technical role, but uh, Whit, myself, and Jack Nealon are kind of the three co-founders um, of Live for Evan, um, and so and so that's that's my title. Yeah, so we started Live for Evan uh, quite a few over three years ago now. But this is the third annual uh, Live for Evan 5K to raise awareness and support for patients and families affected by uh, cardiac disease. So all of the fundraising goes to a few different programs that we do. So like Shane said, myself, Shane and Jack Nealon founded along with all of the support of all the community. We have a bunch of volunteers. Um, and we support different um, cardiac programs at Boston Children's Hospital or Boston Cardiac Foundation. Um, we do a backpack program, a housing program, and um, a vo volunteer dinner um, in Boston right at a house outside of Children's Hospital. It's quite a bit uh, nicer for a runner today. Last year was about 100 degrees, <laughs> um, so today was a nice crisp fall day, about 65 degrees it's at the, the time the gun went off. So I think from talking to the runners, they all love the uh, the temperature and the weather and the times were a lot better this year as well so it turned out great we couldn't be happier yeah the only people that might be disappointed are the mist tent runners because <laughs> everyone was in the mist tent last year so we don't, not as many people there this year uh, i'm vice president and do marketing and then for the live for Evan annual 5k run the field event so the family fun day event so activities vendors free food music for all ages um, so this is like i said our third year doing that um, and it's great we have great support team with us every year. So we have a, a committee of great volunteers, um, Evan's parents, the Girardis, chief among them, and uh, we call their house uh, on Spring Street the, the headquarters, <laughs> HQ. So we have a lot of meetings there leading up to uh, race day. And I think because it's our third annual, we kind of know the drill a little bit more now. So we're trying to get more people involved um, in what we hope to become a turnkey operation where we kind of know what we're doing um, so we can get as many volunteers uh, into the cause as possible. Yeah, so we we probably plan about six months in advance, if not six to nine months in advance of the race. And so after this race, we'll do kind of a meeting and talk about next year's planning and assign committees, like Shane said. Hi, um, I'm a uh, 
involved in the Live Forever nonprofit organization to help um, fund and, and provide patient housing. Uh, in doing so, we've uh, come up with um, multiple different programs or in the, in the process of, but one of the programs that we'd like to highlight at this time is the ECG program provided by Who We Play For. Um, I met Evan uh, over New Year's and it was kind of just a very organic, um, you know, connection where we just found a lot of synergy between both nonprofits who we play for and live for Evan. So in exploring just, you know, options on how to collaborate and, and sync up, uh, we, we thought it'd be uh, a great idea to bring um, ECG, the ECG program uh, to the Tri-Valley League, Hopkinton and Medfield in particular, and we were able to screen about uh, 85 kids in Medfield as well as over 100 and closer to 150 in Hopkinton. Um, and we're working with uh, Dr. Jack Cadigan as well, who's a cardiologist based out of Boston Medical Center, to, to help us assist in this, in this program. So it's been a huge success thus far, and we really hope to keep going. And this is all in an effort to eventually, um, you know, have enough uh, backing and, and um, donations to provide those patient uh, housings for the, the the families and patients that come from all over the world to get best-in-class health care here in New England. So happy to do it. It's been a great day. Um, awesome collaboration and we're really excited moving forward. I'm, I'm in a cardiologist and actually my interest in cardiology is arrhythmia so dealing with patients who have had and survived sudden cardiac death and managing those patients so I have a lot of experience in this area I work at Boston Medical Center uh, I've had a private practice uh, so I've seen a lot of patients clinically and uh, this is sort of again I'm sort of fortunate because of my son I want to give back and I think part of that is trying to do a screening get a screening program up and running in our state uh, that is responsible and that we can sort of do it right and uh, hopefully save lives, young lives. So the reason I'm here today, and I think this is just a wonderful cause, is that uh, as a cardiologist, um, I have a son uh, who was uh, several years ago on a routine EKG diagnosed with a major cardiac anomaly. Uh, it was missed routinely, and I feel a little embarrassed as a cardiologist. I hadn't examined him but he had been cleared to play sports. He's an athlete, he had no symptoms, and a routine EKG, I feel, saved his life. He required open heart surgery, and now he's fine. And unfortunately, uh, I've met a number of people who, uh, they're not as lucky as we are. Uh, the uh, person has died suddenly, and I think a lot of this is preventable, as in the case of my son. And so this uh, screening EKGs that we've been doing is just wonderful. We've done it at Medfield and now Hoppington, with great turnout and helping the uh, Evan Foundation, I think it's just wonderful. Right. So I wholeheartedly endorse this and uh, that's why I'm here. So nine months, 27 days ago, on New Year's Eve, I met Live for Evan. Um, come to find out, they had the exact same story we did. They represented their friend who died from a detectable heart condition. In our case, our friend didn't know he had a heart condition. So when we were in high school, our teammate Rafe collapsed and died on a soccer field from something that the simple EKG that we provided this week to Medfield, to Hopkinton, and hopefully do a lot more, could have saved his life. Our program now has screened 60,000 plus student athletes, and we've saved 60 lives. Our hope is that with Live for Evan, they can champion this in the TBL towards their overall goal of bringing a cardiac house to Boston. One of the things we do is an annual 5K event, which is today, it's been an incredible turnout. Um, a couple other programs that have emerged over the years is we do a backpack program at Children's Hospital to uh, you know, help out families with you know, everyday needs if they were to show up to Boston with nothing but the shirt on their back. Um, we also do a dinner program at uh, Boston Children's at a, at a facility called the Yaki Family Inn, which is a, it's a home of you know, safety and security for families coming from the international community as well as across the states to receive medical care at Children's. So we do dinners there, we provide, we sit with them and kind of learn their stories and kind of let them you know, forget a bit about what's going on at the hospital and you know, be able to you know, find some comfort in doing just that. Um, and most recently we linked up an organization from Florida to put on heart screenings at uh, local schools. So we screened students at Medfield High School and Hopkinton High School this past week. And it's a program that you know, we have become very fond of and we look to really launch in the future.